Traveling the friendly skies doesn't seem so friendly these days for both passengers and flight attendants. But joining me right now are flight attendants Sarah Kegel and Bobby Laurie, who are uh, here with some traveling tips, and they are going to help put the friendly back in our skies. Now, I know you probably can't share all of your stories, but I bet you've got some good ones. <laughs> we well, do. you were saying that you were saying that that we're fed up, and we're fed up because people are stressed. People are stressed when it's coming when it comes down to flying, and they shouldn't be. So Sarah and I, we joined together and we created this podcast called The Crew Lounge, and it's available for free in iTunes, and we talk about bridging the gap between flight attendants and passengers, and one of the ways of doing that is giving you some tips on how to travel better. Perfect. Well, where should we start? Well, we should start here. You know, um, when it comes down, most, more and more airlines are charging for check bags, so more and more people are packing uh, in, in their carry-on bags. So, you know, we have a, like a woman's purse here, a messenger bag, and over there we have... Um, a 22-inch roller board, which is the normal size for a carry-on bag, and that'll fit pretty well in most overhead compartments. Which this one is one of either of these? Yeah, well, yeah, they're both the same size. Okay. Um, that's actually what we travel with. So take a hint from your flight attendant. If we carry it, it must fit. Right. It's got to be good. <laughs> it's got to be good. So w when when travelers do pack, they are allowed one roller board and one personal item. So it's either one of these items. It can't be a, you know two of them plus a roller board. Well, a lot of times I'll stick my purse in the bag. Right. Because mm -hmm. and might I've ask had you to some mean that. flight attendants catch on to that and make me and tell me I had to check one. No. no. <laughs> yeah, no. no, they're not they're not supposed to cuz technically if you can fit me. it in you're good. That well that's what I okay. he had something against you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he likes me. Anyway, okay, so, so yeah, got that. And and then one really quick packing tip is to pack a blanket, a blanket or or a sweater because most aircraft are kept cold and more and more airlines are charging for pillows and blankets after the whole swine flu outbreak. Um, so bring a blanket if you're going to get cold. This way you've already solved the problem before you get on the airplane. Okay, so since you're here and I have this question, I'm going to ask it. Sure. Um, do they wash those blankets every single time? No, no. Okay. which is why now you buy them. There you go. <laughs> That's why you there's no more for free. <laughs> yes, I will be bringing my own blanket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you have for us? Well, uh, I'm the kid expert. If you're traveling with uh, children, there's some essentials that you need, and you would think that some of these things would be common sense, but they're not. Okay. For years, I've seen people forget to bring activities for their kids. So you want to bring some... Well, aren't you guys in charge of entertaining oh, yeah, children? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. And we do, but you don't always get us. But these uh, crayons are great. They're triangle-shaped. They don't fall off the tray table. Oh, good to know. That's good. Really triangle. great. Uh, these disposable placemats you want to put on the tray table. They stick right to the... Uh, tray table. Yeah, these are great wherever you go. I've, yeah, they're I've good for adults too. <laughs> you can find them without Sesame Street. Yeah, if you're like a germ germ freak and you don't they're want to touch fantastic. That. Well, you know, I mean, I've seen people clip their fingernails, toenails, everything, change diapers on the tray table. So wait, 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 wait. These are good. <laughs> you have not seen people clean their change, kids change yeah. diapers on oh, the tray yeah. table. Oh yeah. And the seats too. Yes. What do you say to something like that? There's changing tables in the bathroom. Yeah. Do you? I mean, you don't ignore it, right? I mean, for the sake of everyone around us, or. Like, Correct. are you supposed yeah. to go we're up supposed and... To, we're yeah. supposed to tell them to yeah. that there is yeah. a proper location to do that. Yeah, because yeah. if you don't, I'm sure there's going to be some angry passengers that will be telling yeah. them what they <laughs> exactly. think. Exactly. Definitely. Okay, so we've got that for the kids. Yes. Um, a great tip for kids if they're in diapers is to bring along nighttime diapers. It gives you that few extra minutes if the seatbelt sign is on, they can sleep comfortably. And then, of course, these are these pa are light to pack, and you can put the dirty. Wait, you don't want there. us putting the dirty ones in the, <laughs> in the back of the seat? Well, we're we're not uh, germaphobes. We'll take you know we're not afraid of taking a diaper, but it's our kitchen, and we can't commingle, so um, that needs to go in the lab. Yeah, and the worst thing when you have to take these and you go into the. You know, the lavatory mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. someone has just taken their kid's diaper and... Just kind of stuck it there, yeah. We've yeah. seen that. Or they leave it in the seat back pocket. <laughs> oh, then, yeah, that's the worst. And then a lot, of, a lot of passengers don't realize that nowadays the flight attendants are the cleaning crew on some airlines. Right. So we will have to go in and clean it up. So definitely pass it over if we're coming through with the trash bag or go throw it out in the restroom. Yeah. It's Please. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Okay, what are, the, oh, what are these? These are just inexpensive earplugs. Um, it's one of my best parent tips. If you're stressed out about your kids uh, crying and screaming on the plane, uh, first are these for the parent with, yeah. the, with the screaming child, or are these to they're hand out both. to the people around you? <laughs> they're for the, your neighbors. Be kind to your neighbors and pass out earplugs. It'll break the ice. Everyone will be happy. Okay, so the number one tip, folks. <laughs> Pack your own, too. Okay, yes. do we have anything else? Yeah, you know, if you're on the way to the airport and you're drinking a water bottle, which in Phoenix, who isn't, or if you have a water canteen at home, empty it out, bring it with you through security. You're allowed to bring empty containers through, and then fill it up with water at, like, a water fountain or something like that. This way, it'll keep you hydrated and sustained from the time that you go through security to the time that the beverage carts come out on the aircraft. And you're also saving yourself money by buying by not buying yourself a bottle of water through security. Right, and you're, we're trying to help the environment and not wasting mm -hmm. another bottle. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What about this little guy? 
It's just a basic carry-on. It was just an example to put all your kids' stuff in here. This right here is fantastic. It's like the best invention ever. Believe it or not, I don't travel with a car seat with my daughter because this weighs a couple pounds and it's simple to use. You just attach this right onto, it's a Keras harness system. You attach this right onto the back of the airplane seat. Oh, that's great. You strap your seat belt in here and you have a harness for your child with a lot of room to now, spare. Now, will this work when we get in the car too? No. Okay. No. I, I knew I was pushing the envelope. <laughs> okay, I know we have to wrap it up, but real quick. Yeah. When you're in an airplane and there's first class and then there's regular cheap seats like I sit in, mm -hmm. and that curtain is closed, do, what, does that mean we can't go in there, be quiet when you go? What does that mean? <laughs> it's it's proper etiquette to stay in your mm -hmm. cabin. So yeah. don't use their if, potty. You, right, we need right, to use the cheap right. seat potty. It actually varies from, 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 from airline to airline, but generally speaking, if you're seated in the main cabin, use the restrooms in the main cabin. If you're seated in first, that's usually reserved just for you. For the special people. For the special people. Oh, <laughs> there is the jacuzzi tub. <laughs> oh, yeah, that you guys bring that out. And the chocolates and everything else. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, guys. You can come back anytime. I have so many questions, but not enough Thanks. time. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks for having us. Okay. Okay.